Welcome back to Cards TV. Sean Moth along with the head coach of the Louisville field hockey team, Justine Sowery. And it was a great weekend for the Cards, senior weekend. It really, you couldn't focus on senior day because you had to focus everything on that Friday match against Providence. A win to get into the tournament and 6-0. That yeah. was a great victory. It was a fantastic weekend, but ever since the previous weekend, uh, every single day was focused on that Providence game and our preparation every single day day they were focused and then on uh, Friday they were ready to go and uh, it was it was a great performance. And, and you've issued challenges to your team all season long and uh, it had to be really gratifying to see that six minutes into this one it was 2-0. I mean they just they immediately made a statement in this game. I don't think that they realized earlier in the week that their season could be cut short um, by a week so they were pretty motivated and uh, I knew from the minute before the game started that they were going to be ready. We talked about the seniors on this team and, and their place with the squad and, and how they are special to you. And a lot of times they can put pressure on themselves this final weekend, but clearly that wasn't the case. Haley Turner had two goals. Heather Stevens had two goals. Caitlin Collins obviously played well. So it was a great weekend for them. Yeah, I, I can see that going either way as well through my experience. But uh, they, were, they were fired up. Their teammates were fired up and, and thankfully... You know, they just let their preparation and their confidence and, and just try to, I think that they were fairly relaxed or at least appeared that way. And, and once you score that first one, then I think everyone started to loosen up and, and play some really good hockey. Yeah, the card secured a spot in the Big East Championship with a win over Providence. It, it'd be easy to rest on your laurels and, and kind of relax a little bit and maybe let the emotion of Senior Day take you over Sunday. But you bring an Indiana team in here that's more and more competitive as the years move on. And a tight fought, exciting match, and you pull out the 1-0 win. Yeah, Indiana's a very good team. They're, they're tough, they're physical, and uh, they've got strength throughout each line. And when we watched them the, the previous day, they're good. Yeah. And uh, they're, I didn't have to get the team up at all. Senior day, uh, they're emotional, they're fired up. But I also didn't realize that they hadn't beat, beaten Indiana since their freshman year, the sure. senior group. So they certainly carried a lot of emotion uh, on top of the, the senior day uh, and, and the team backed them up as well. And I, I, did, I felt like I didn't even have to coach. They did it themselves. Yeah, and there's, there's another senior kind of in the group in Erin Codrand who is going to be back with the cards. And not only did, did she uh, celebrate, she was Big East Defensive Player of the Week with the Paris shutout. She had a great weekend. Fantastic weekend. And when we talk specifically about the Indiana game, uh, from the very first minute, we had uh, contributions all over the field, but down to the very last minute of the game, she pulled off an unbelievable save to, to keep the win uh, for us. So she's doing great for us. She's really stepping up and being a terrific leader. Uh, when we're winning, she's great. And when we're not doing so well, she's also really uh, coming of age, I guess, and uh, really keeping a, the team together and certainly the defensive group together as well. So. Uh, really happy with how she's going and, and she's really excited to uh, move forward this weekend and beyond. I bet. Before they move on to the Big East Championship, you have one regular season match remaining and it's it's a Big Ten match. It's an opponent on the road. You get to go to uh, Chicago, which can be beautiful this time of year. So uh, Sunday, you, you have an exciting match against Northwestern. Yes, it's beautiful and it'll be cold as well. <laughs> Their field is uh, very picturesque and it's right on the lake there and uh, so the wind can be whipping, but uh, we're looking forward to working hard this week and, and not only preparing for North Western, but we're already slated to play against UConn the following week. So that's our focus, but we're trying to use every day uh, to prepare for that game. And Northwestern is a really good opponent, so uh, with a couple of very talented players. So we're excited about this weekend and, and keep working day after day and hopefully uh, continue to improve. And I believe Syracuse is the side of the tournament this year, correct? Yes, it yeah. is. They all run together sometimes for me, but yes. occasionally I, I grasp one out of thin air. Coach, best of luck. Safe travel to you and the team up to Chicago and look forward to talking to you as a preview for the tournament. Thank you very much. For Justine Sowery, I'm Sean Moth. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk next week right here on Cards TV.